Hey everybody, Geek Alchemy here today, doing a follow-up on my red rose infused red wine. As you can see, it's gone completely through gel now. Please excuse my pup in the background. She saw something she didn't like and she just can't get over it now. <laughs> I think all owners of small dogs know that struggle. Anyway. We're going to do the Clarity and the Phenolphthalein test again because it's been all but two weeks, as promised, is when I would wait. Just a wee bit. Don't need a lot. And here we go with the Phenolphthalein test. And today, it runs perfectly clear. No pink whatsoever. So, it's ready to go, according to science. And, well, we'll go ahead and see what the clarity test says. Not really sure. Let's do... An ounce and a half, a little bit more than an ounce and a half. Let me pull that off. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I just realized I didn't hit record as I was doing all this. So let me just recap. I used the phenolphthalein again to test, and this time around, no pink whatsoever. So this is all I really care about, quite honestly. And this says we're good to go, but I know a lot of people care about that clarity test. I put in about an ounce and a half of soap paste, or sorry, an ounce and a half of water to about an eighth or sixteenth. I can't remember what one point point one two five is. It's either an eighth or a sixteenth. And I'm going to move you so you can see that I can read this text perfectly. Nope, you can't see. Sorry. This is going to be All right there. Here you can see. Everything is pointing to what we need what we need it to be. And I'm going to set this off to the side. I'll mess with that in a minute. I'll fold this up and throw it away so that no one's fingers gets in the phenol phthalein. All right, so today on top of what we just did with our experiment, I have diluted four to one. So that's four parts distilled water to one part soap paste. And it's still really thick. Like most people, I guess it might be the coconut oil they put in. Since I don't have any coconut oil, it's not making it thinner, but a lot of people who put coconut oil in their recipes say that a two to one ratio is as good as they can get if they want a thick consistency. And I'm honestly thinking I might be able to get away with a five to one and still have a good consistency. We're gonna first try this, see where we go. I'm gonna weigh out two ounces. And if I go a little over It'll be all right. One, one and a half, just over two. That's all right. All right. So today I'm going to add Nature's Garden's Blue Raspberry Slushy with Bitter Creek Liquid Bath Dye. 
put in three drops for now, see where that goes. Close it back up. And, oh, what was my ratio? Let me do some math, I'll be right back. I am going to use 3% fragrance oil, which if I did my math right is 0 0.03, 0 0.06 ounces. And I'm using a dropper to control how much comes out because 0 0.06 ounces comes by quickly. And there we are. Oh, it smells so good. You know the blue candy, the candy that everybody wanted back in the 90s? That's what this smells like. It's amazing. And I had something else. There we are. Now my soap is kind of, as you can see, on the yellow side. We're going to see what 3% of fragrance does to this. And uh, I don't know if you guys notice the transformation immediately, but this turned cloudy. But with the blue, it looks awesome. It's essentially like a teal color. This is actually really cool. And I think, I think it just got even thicker. Yeah, this thickened up my soap even more. <laughs> this is literally like a gel right now. This is, yeah, this is, this is almost like, slime consistency. This is thick. Dang. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and, as it is, put it in my little sample cup. And I already... Sorry about that. I didn't realize I was out of frame. I already sprayed this down with rubbing alcohol to make sure it's sanitary. And as you might have guessed, this is for personal use. I'm still testing things out, wanting to make sure it's good. Dang, this got thick. Anyway, I'm going to test this out and see how I like it. The other dilutions were nice, but if you washed more than a couple times a day with the liquid soap, it seemed to be slightly drying. And obviously I don't want that. I don't want, I mean, it's kind of hard to have a moisturizing liquid soap, quite honestly, because you can't super fat it very much. Let me scrape down some of the sides here. So I'm looking into ways to super fat liquid soap. I'm thinking one of the easiest ways is to add glycerin to the base, to the water solution. I am Uh, with this recipe, there is a, a brine water with a bit of honey in it. So there's nothing in here that would be super moisturizing. And to add anything after it's already become liquid soap, like after the cook-wise, you're asking for a whole lot of germs and grossness to start living in your soap. And, I mean... I don't know why you use soap, but I use it to get the germs off, <laughs> not add them. All right, for now, 
we're gonna let that go give you guys a little close-up I'll scrape the last bits out later that is cool looking it's this really nice in person it's this really nice uh, bluish teal color man three drops was all I needed that was great all right so for now I'm gonna put the lid on this like I said I'll scrape the rest in here later just for brevity's sake we'll move along now keeping in mind the four to one and as thick as this is I'm gonna do the same for here because the base oils are the same the lye solution is the only difference and there was a strong fragrance like uh, most soaps have after you add anything but water kind of a, a sharp smell that you really don't want translating into your washable soap and since soap paste doesn't air out like bar soap does I'm going to <clears throat> at the end of the dilution for this adding amber rose tobacco which is actually a planned soap already for the lineup this will be barred so it will I think it'll go really well with this with the element of rose in it so for now I need eight ounces of distilled water almost there and I'm overloaded. <laughs> I need a different container. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm using, I measured out my water weight here. I will be measuring out my paste weight into the jar itself. And I'll be measuring out two ounces of soap paste. Just a wee bit more. All right. And then we just simply add water. I'll put on a lid, give it a couple days, and it will be diluted like this guy. And if not, I'll put a... And if not, I'll put it in a double boiler in my crock pot or not in my crock pot well I could do my crock pot or I was originally thinking my stove top in one of my cooking pots and be able to get myself it diluted a little faster heat speeds up the process of dilution so anyway I'm gonna test this out possibly update you on Instagram and or Facebook and Man, I can't get over the smell. This smells great, even at only 3%. All right, guys. I hope you're having a geeky day. I know I am. I'm probably going to do more soaping. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.